Today we're giving a demonstration of FAP 260 sewing machine. Does special stitches, straight stitch and zigzag, buttonhole, whatever you want to do with this machine. We'll sew eight layers of denim real easy and do the special stitches at the same time, whatever you want to do. Sew leather. Uh, today we're going to show you why uh, demonstrate how to do the special stitches. We're going to do this one here uh, and we'll show you what the dials it says to set it at. This one is zero, the needle to there. It goes there's middle, and there's right, and there's left where it's supposed to be. C dial at four, and then the D dial up here. We need to set at one. And that only turns clockwise. And this dial here for the special stitches, most of them, like the red and the black, uh, uh, most most of them, you want that set at one. And that keeps everything close. And down here, the stitch length is 0 0.2 and at on uh, in the manual it's not clear where to set this one and this one do your to do your stitches because those are variable you might want to do it at different settings at different times this stitch Right there looks just like like it's supposed to but if you move this one to seven move this one to one See what you get? <laughs> Nothing like what you want. And uh, if you have that at zero and this at zero, whoops. Before you move those dials, you should have the needle up also. That at zero, and this at two. I'm gonna show you what you get there. You're just gonna get a zigzag. But if you have these dials set where they're supposed to be, or where you would like them, I'm going to try this one at two. And this one, at say 0.4. Should be a little bit of difference from this first time. Pretty fast machine. And you can see the difference between these and those. Just from the two different settings, a one and a two and a 0 0.4 and 0 0.2. Uh, so if you ever get a nice FAF 260, you know what to do with those dials there to get the stitches that you want. Uh, this dial, this wheel, gives you 80 different stitches you can do at just by turning your dials in different settings. Uh, I'm going to do one more. Let's do this a scallop. And it says 1.5 on the A dial, or the C, yeah, A dial is here. Move this up. 0.5 is right there and the needle to the left this one here is a C dial at 5 and the 
D dial, it tells you to set it five. So we turn this one, two, three, four, five. And we should end up with the scallop like that. Let's see how we do. There's your scalp that we got it set at. If you want to bring it closer, then you just move this up here to one and the width is changed by this dial the length of the stitch by this one let's go to point zero zero point two and let's go to this one see what we get You get a lot tighter scallop. See how just changing your settings can can do a lot different. There you have it. If you have any trouble with it, moving this dial and this dial and this dial and this doesn't go up and down and you just get a zigzag no matter where you turn that, you'll have to take this top off and take this whole assembly off and clean it, oil it so it moves freely because they'll get gummed up and if those don't move, then you won't get your uh, stitches that you want. Those, that's all got to move freely. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed or learned something from this video. Thank you very much.